Hey guys, this is Goofy Goop Balls, and today I have for you guys my first tip actually in Advanced Warfare. Previously, I had given you guys tips about the game using evidence from older games, showing you things I knew would be extremely important for the release of the Advanced Warfare. They've really helped me out in this game, hopefully you guys have found them useful too, and if you have, keep using them. Anyways, in this tip, I want to talk to you guys about capturing domination flags in Advanced Warfare. Now, I was playing Domination on the first day, and I realized that you can't lay prone and turn on flags like you could in previous Call of Duty games. I'll show you a clip here in the background, where I'm laying on the B flag and aiming down the sights, but when I try to move my aim to left and right, it goes really, really slowly. I'm playing on 15 sensitivity, so it's definitely not because of that. It's just that the game doesn't really let you do this anymore, so laying prone when you capture flags isn't a good idea. But, another thing I noticed while playing is that you can keep capturing the flag no matter how high you jump above the flag. So I'll show you this clip in the background here where I keep double jumping way up as high as I possibly can and I can still capture the flag. So this proves to be a pretty useful tactic, especially when people are really rushing the objective and you know someone's going to try to come and kill you. They obviously know when you're taking their flag, obviously they say, the announcer says, oh losing B, something like that. But they run to the flag and expect you to be standing on it because in previous Call of Duties that was the only way you could capture a flag by standing on it or lying prone on it. So if you keep double jumping like I did, it can really throw them off and really confuse them. They might show up to the flag and like see nobody on it and be like, wait, what's going on? So I think you see it in this clip, where even though this guy sees me jumping from really, really far away, it takes him quite a while to get me, even though he, see he saw me. And I mean, I get pretty close to capturing the flag anyways, even though I end up losing a gunfight. I mean, I get more than half the flag, I'm pretty sure. So this tactic is definitely something to consider when capturing domination flags in advanced warfare. But you also have to consider that double jumping does have some negatives, so it's not the end-all be-all solution to not being able to lie prone on the flag anymore. If you're playing on like a crowded map or something where it's harder for enemies to move around and get to the flag, you could be seriously giving yourself away by jumping way up in the air and exposing yourself. I mean, right now, it doesn't seem like it's likely for someone to shoot you in the air. I mean, it seems pretty difficult, but I mean, maybe in a few weeks or so, people will definitely have this mastered and will be able to shoot you from really far away and not even have to run back to their flag to try to kill you. And so you will have lost capturing the flag. So you just have to make sure you're in the right situation when you want to do this. Just make sure you think before you do it. So, in summary, laying prone on the flags isn't really a good idea anymore because you're not allowed to turn left and right when you want to defend the flag. I mean, you can move left and right, but it's just really, really slow and it doesn't seem to be effective at all when you're trying to shoot someone. So, instead of trying this, you can try double jumping on the flags because you can jump really, really high and capture the flags way up in the air. And it proves to be really hard for enemies to shoot you when you're jumping up and down like at a really fast pace like you can with the exosuits. But there can be cases where you're exposing yourself in the air, and then that can get you killed. I mean, it just depends on the map, the type of enemies you're playing. So really, think it out and make sure you're in the right situation before you do this. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and learned something new today. And if you did, please don't forget to like, favorite, comment, and subscribe for more Advanced Warfare tips and Advanced Warfare gameplay. This has been Goofy Goop to Balls, and I'll catch you all in the next video.